C4 ISR Command Control Communications Computer Center that utilizes intelligence surveillance and renaissance. Multiple interacting components of C4 ISRs include battle space monitoring, awareness, understanding, sense making, command intent, battle space management, synchronization, and information systems. C4IS4 centers can be mobile or stationary or virtual or strictly computer-based. Each military service has its own tactical mobile C4ISR system. The Navy and Marines use ForceNet. The Air Force uses Command Control Constellation, C2 Constellation. The Army uses Land War Net and WinT. Each type of C4 ISR system is connected to GIG or GIG Global Information Grid. So this next part is important because this is the satellite-based torture. CR, cognitive radio, cognitive radio, a kind of JTRS or Joint Tactical Radio System. So this would be the alien radio that you all hear by the CIA. Joint Tactical Radio System that consists of a computer which has artificial intelligence. So it's self-aware. It thinks it's a human like the rest of us. CR is an intelligent device that is aware of itself, told you. CR is an intelligent device that is self-aware, told you, bingo. The needs of the user and the environment, it can understand and learn. So all of the Joe Rogans of the universe, that's what this is. It's basically a robot. Our bell, any any person now that you hear on the radio is using this technology. So that includes everybody on YouTube, just about. So anyways, to continue, DARPA helped create CRs through programs like Adaptive Cognition, Enhanced Radio Teams, ACERT, A-C-E-R-T, and situation aware protocols in edge network technologies, SAPIENT, S-A-P-I-E-N-T. GIG or GIG, Global Information Grid, developed partially by the MITRE Corporation has been called DOD's Global C4 ISR unit for net war. It can quickly track down an adversary target anywhere on Earth and attack them via DEW, directed energy weapons, and other forms of electronic warfare. CR is an intelligent device that is aware of itself, so it's self-aware. So, therefore, it thinks that it's conscious. The needs of the user and the environment, it can understand and learn. It can understand and learn, excuse me. So it can understand and learn like an intelligent human being, okay? But uh, the reason why I wanted to go back over this is because this is what you guys are getting on the radio. All of the Doja Cats, all of the Beyonce's, all of every single thing that you get on the radio is CR. um, Cognitive radio. So it's a conscious entity. It's self-aware which is a living organism okay so but it's not a human being and some of you would might even call it a hybrid i refuse to call it a hybrid it's not a hybrid an alien is an alien if they want to sit here and call me an alien or call me a terrorist then what the fuck do you think they are they are the ones that are hypnotizing the entire world and driving them to the brink of their insanity and some of them will be set up to either commit suicide flat out or it'll be staged and uh, you guys will be lied to and the family of these uh, atrocities will never really truly understand or know the, the truth and even if somebody comes out and does the investigating even if all of the fucking writing is on, on the walls 
because of the hypnosis on the radio, because of her CR, and because of other technologies like it, uh, you guys will be blind to the truth completely. You you will you you will be so blinded to the truth that you will even defend the lie. You will defend the, the Holocaust. You will defend the genocide. Un, unbeknownst to you, you don't know. You're not aware. So this thing is way smarter than you, way smarter than you, because you're not even self-aware. Um, if you if you can't live your life without placating to distractions, you're not fully self-aware. You're not fully conscious. If you defend the lie and you attack the truth, you're not fully conscious. And the reason why they're doing this to you is because they think you're dumb. For lacking a conscience. And they will make you complicit in a conspiracy that's bigger than your life could... You're just one person. Um, one person's life is not worth that much. You can hire a hitman for $10,000 on the black web markets. You can hire people to rape and torment people for less than that. So at the end of the day, if somebody who has a lot of money can take out a com competitor who has no money, and it really is as easy as a $10,000 hitman, think about it in terms of that's actually how much your life is worth. So anyways, CR is an intelligent device that is aware of itself, the needs of the user and the environment. So this is the CR, cognitive radio. This is what you guys are getting by the CIA. None of these people have any real talent. Why do you think they go so gung-ho, balls to the wall, and, and, and murder comp competitors? Because it is actually using or abusing technology and that talent that you think it has is entirely fake. Is entirely alien. It's like, for these things, for a artificial intelligence, it's like downloading an app. And all of a sudden, they're the world's biggest pop star. And so anyways, on a real note, we know, we all know that she has no cleavage. <clears throat> we all know that her titties are flat, saggy as fuck, and deflated. And we all know that her titties do not bounce in the car the way that mine do. You actually have to go to the plastic surgeon if you want that. That type of cleavage, it's not natural. So while he might have gone to go get some apples, them apples definitely don't taste as good as a fucking watermelon on any given day. At the end of the day, those apples taste like shit. And that's exactly what it is. And that's its karma for all of eternity. What the fuck? Love eternally, love eternally, love eternally, love eternally. But for these gang stalkers and these psychocytists that work for this counterculture, it's eternally evil. So anyways... It's afraid of my truth. With every fiber of its being, it's afraid of my truth. So I wanted to um, discuss the CR. Cognitive radio, meaning a conscious entity. Cognitive radio, CR. CR is an intelligent device that is aware of itself, the needs of the user. No, it's not aware of the needs of its user because if it were aware of the needs of its user, these users would not be ritualistically exploited. So I beg to differ on that second half of the bit there. The needs of the user, it is not conscious or aware towards at all. Because it would know 
that the user needs employment in order to leave a rocky situation. It's not self-aware. It cannot be. I beg to differ. Not only is it not an intelligent device that is aware of itself, but I also disagree on the part that it is aware of the needs of the user. In what regard? I'll wait. And it's, in it, and it's aware of the environment. In what regard? Children are suffering, dying, starving, and women are being tortured and murdered to death. In what regard? I'll wait. It can understand and learn. I'm really doubting that as well. It can understand and learn. Well, in order to understand and learn, it would need to be a human being. It is not a human being. It's a self-aware cognitive radio. And because it has AI, it can see your internal organs. It can exploit every single thing about what it means to be or what it think what it thinks it means to be a human being, which is exactly and precisely what it's doing. Nothing ruins natural land more than exploitation. So I beg to differ in that regard as well. If they are going to get rich off of exploiting humanity, that comes with also exploiting the community or the land that the human being or the target is on so it doesn't care at all for humanity it is completely inhumane that is the entire purpose of the counter proliferation targeting program and every single thing that you see on Pornhub is fake every single thing that you hear on the radio is fake why do you think they attack innocent civilians and wage war, psychological warfare, upon innocent civilians to such a degree because they know the reality? Everything that you know is fake. It is faked so that way it can't exploit humanity because it is inhumane in the most extreme degree. <clears throat> So every single musician just about that you hear on the radio is cognitive radio. It was manufactured or created by DARPA. It's a fucking alien or a robot or something of the sort, which is why you are so enamored by it. Because if you found somebody who sang that good in reality, you would not like it you would deem that person as a as a triple threat if you were having sex with a prostitute in reality you wouldn't like it you would leave that bitch in a heartbeat in reality DARPA helped create CRs, cognitive radios. So this is a computer program or a radio system with a fully developed conscience uploaded to it. That is artificial intelligence. That is alien in nature. That is not real. And in my opinion, it's not a real threat. If you are not real, then you cannot be a real threat. DARPA helped create CRs through programs like Adaptive Cognition Enhanced Radio Teams, ACERT, and Situation Aware Protocols in Edge Network Technologies, SAPIEN. So this is the, 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 the serpent seed. This is all of the Art Bills, all of the Joe Rogans. This is how they're profiling your psyche and somehow doing it outside of time, outside of reality. 
because they're using some sort of anti-gravity, excuse me, or some sort of uh, time manipulation technology where they have the computer program or the software to be able to predict what you're going to say, think, and do, and therefore they can beat you to the punch. And by doing so, they're able to profile your psyche. Before you even thought a thought, just like the Bible says, God knows what you're going to do and think and say before you do it. It's a technology that they are using. God is just a code word for the government. If you've ever known a pastor in reality, they're very different than what the Bible preaches about. The pastors in reality have so little faith that they actually believe the doctors when the doctors say that I need epileptic medication. And if my faith is greater than the doctor, the pastor's faith will say I'm suicidal if I choose to use my free will and doubt the medical Western, the, the Western medical system and stop taking the medication and put my faith in the Lord. That is how little the, the pastor's faith actually is. Somebody who has real faith, who's, who's a diagnosed epileptic, they'd be willing to bet that the doctor is full of shit, excuse my French, and they would choose faith over fear. And it is not suicidal, it is a personal choice. I'm not owned or governed by the Western medical system. I'm sovereign and free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for my sins. And I choose to believe that if it's been 20 plus years since I've had a seizure, then I probably don't need the medication as much as they make it seem like I do. So it is not suicide. It is a personal choice, like whether or not you wanna wear a condom when you're making love. It is a personal choice. That is a personal choice that nobody understands unless they have this ongoing war with the Western medical system. It doesn't matter what the issue at hand is. I am very, very real and therefore I am extremely powerful. You can take that as you will, but when I see these honey pots, trying way too hard going to the fucking plastic surgeon once or twice a month every weekend so they can try to uh, keep up okay you see how I look when I leave the house trashed I don't care I'm not trying because I don't care So anyways, all of this, this, this radio that they're, they're forcing me to compete with is not real. The porn stars and the honeypots or the lot lizards and the prostitutes that they force me to compete with, it's not real. Do you see how much I go out of my way to allow myself the freedom to simply be myself, to give myself free space, to make mistakes, to make honest to God mistakes on my program because it's the only space that I have available to make an honest to God mistake. When I do this show, I do it on the first run. I don't do second, third, three time runs, fourth time runs, none of that. I use what I have the first time around and I stick with that so it's as real as possible and if I can I might fucking edit if I say a curse word I'll try to edit that as much as possible but for the most part I allow myself the grace period 
and the grace space to say what I got to say and do what I got to do on my program, even if that means that I have epilepsy and I'm not perfect. That is something that these honeypots will not show you. That side of them without their hair and their makeup done and without their nails done, you will never get to see that side of them. You are forced to compete with their overdressed, perfect, biased side. And then that is what you have to try to compete with. I don't, com I don't compete with anybody. I literally changed the game. The rest of you guys are just fucking extras in my movie as far as I can see as far as I see it and as far as I'm concerned I as the star can make as many mistakes as I want to because it's my shit show at the end of the day and so I'm not going to dress it up I'm not going to sugarcoat it I'm not going to censor it because you don't like the way that I talk sometimes I could care less and I show up on this show day after day after day speaking truth because at the end of the day, that truth is offering you more than those lies that you placate to day after day and those delusions and those fantasies and those illusions that are not real that you placate to and that placate to you day after day after day after day. And my show is the only truth, the only truth. So it can be as boxed, it can be as square, it can be as straightforward, it can be as direct or as brash as it needs to be because at the end of the day, you knew what you were signing up to. Nobody put a gun to your head. Nobody forced you to subscribe. Nobody forced you to listen, but you chose to anyways. And so at the end of each and every day, regardless of how many failures I make on my show, I grace myself that space. That is something that these honeypots don't have. That self-love that these fucking squares, these other fucking extras that are in this fucking shit show with me trying to fucking turn up on me when it's my motherfucking shit show. That's something that they don't have the space. They don't have the self-love or the self-heart to even obtain. They don't even have the fucking ability to crack a door for failure. OK, so where they think that they're so much better, that's where I come in with all of my fuck shit because I'm not better because there is somebody out there who needs to be found right where they are, not in a better space, not in a healthier space, but right where they are. OK, while the rest of these honeypots are sitting out here trying way too hard to make daddy proud, Adrian can give a literal fuck. I'll shit on you both. And so where is the American man when all of these psychological war and psyops or uh, forms of psychological warfare are hitting the family in every direction? When we're under spiritual attack, when we're under uh, psychological attack, when we're being emotionally and psychologically distressed, where is the American man? You can find him working late and you can find him working overtime so he can make space so he can create failures. So he can masturbate to the opposition's granddaughter or to a computer generated version of her, whichever you prefer, whichever fucking floats your boat. I could care less. And so you will find here in this fucking chapter where it describes G.I.G. It uses all fakery fake or re gig uses existing commercial satellites to torture innocent civilians 24 7 and ground-based systems as well as gig nodes such as aircraft vehicles and ships equipped with dr jtrs which is alien technology I mean, did I not already discuss this? I just went over this. And GIG is connected to all communication systems used by coalition and aired forces. Global war on terror. Use of second, third, and fourth generation warfare. And now even fifth and sixth, because this article is extremely ancient. And technology is advancing rapidly. 
to achieve political military objectives. So if they don't want you dating a white woman because of the simple skin color that she has or possesses, you will be radicalized and you will be feeding for your abuser. You will be so brainwashed, you will be jacking off to the cop's granddaughter who murdered your cousin. And you will do it gleefully and you will do it gladfully. You will not wait to seize an opportunity to make time because that's how brainwashed you are. That's how non-conscious you are. So you mean to tell me that there are some people, there are many people who lack a conscience. Human beings don't even have a conscience. Human beings lack a conscience. And you want me to believe that a computer system has something that even most human beings don't even possess. That's why they're so easily possessed. That's why they're so easily brainwashed. That's why they're so easily controlled. They're using sex to control the, 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 the female and the male, but specifically the male. So all of this time, and you see right here where it says it uses aircraft, vehicles, and ships equipped with DRJTRS. So it has some sort of equipment on it that is able to profile and attack the psyche of the victim. And it is designed and it is made to look like it is nothing but a fantasy or an illusion. And maybe in some severe cases that that the target or the victim is mentally ill. When you see something sticking out of a trunk of a, of a truck, this is their way of trying to get Jerron to ass rape me because ass rape actually hurts really bad. So every time you see me photographing something that looks normal, something that looks natural, something that looks seemingly normal, which is plausible deniability. That's why they use these weapons because they offer plausible deniability. They are trying to radicalize Jerron so that he will rape me in my ass because ass rape hurts like hell. When you see them driving a BMW, they're exploiting my son because he is a young Mexican man and so on and so forth. So they will send these honey pots out to try to make him lust or to try to tempt him into being lustful for ass so that he will want to rape my ass because ass rape hurts. This is what they do in jail. This is a form of torture, amongst many other things. But I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right here. It is trying to put a division between my relationship, between me and my counterpart or partner, between me and my son, pretty much between me and, and anybody and everybody in my family. In addition to that, they're trying to put divisions in between myself and people, co-workers, um, boss, managers, stuff like this at work. They're trying to create divisions in any social setting, like if I have friends outside of work or if I'm in a dating relationship, they'll do it there. So this is all for the purpose of trying to divide up and conquer so that it can stage some sort of synthetic suicide program. Information operations, also known as cyber war, information warfare, network centric warfare, net war, NCW and command and control warfare, C2W, 
in terms of activities of the internal enemy, official sources suggest the act of simply conveying information alone can be described as information operations. In this case, it is usually waged by people within oppressed populations. So the ones that lack the biggest conscience, the ones that are the dumbest, they're actually just forced into oppressed situations where they are coerced into believing that they just don't care. In terms of government military use of I.O., information operations, Department of Defense defines information operations as the integrated employment of the core capabilities of electronic warfare, computer network operations, psychological operations, military deception, which is what you're, which, which is what they're always going to get with the, um, prostitutes and the lot lizards is the military deception and this counterculture is completely against the american family and works um around the clock effortlessly and tirelessly to corrupt the american man the father of the home so that they can blame the situation on the fact that there is no man in the home and once they can use sex to fully control the male, they can get him out of the home. That is a part of the PSYOP. That is the PSYOP in a nutshell. <laughs> so the military deception that causes the man or the male partner to be um, unavailable and just unattractive in any, in any and every way to the family as a whole. It's actually putting the family in debt because of its sex addictions, because it's being controlled by the counterculture. And so it doesn't have anything to offer the family whatsoever. It's being controlled by the counterculture, and the counterculture is using sex and honeypots and porn and prostitutes to do this, which is also another form of trafficking. So um, it'll yell at the wife, and it'll tell the wife that the reason why it works so much is so that it can help, help, help. But the wife has nothing to show for it. The wife doesn't even have a wedding ring. So anyways, to continue, which I'm sure is something that the prostitute has because of the money, the amount of money and the amount of time that is spent on the prostitutes. They definitely have jewelry. They definitely have a bed. And so instead of worrying about what bed she's getting fucked in, why don't you worry about what bed your wife is getting fucked in? You know, because six years is a legal marriage. So anyways, military deception and operations security in concert with specific supporting and related co capabilities in influence disrupt, corrupt, disrupt, corrupt, in their own words, disrupt and corrupt or usurp adversarial human and automated decision making while protecting our own so it's corrupting you while it's protecting its own so it's killing you genociding you holocausting you and all of your loved ones lying to you about the death of your relatives which is a holocaust and then while it's protecting the lies and the deception of its own and that would be the military police that would be the lot lizards that he fiends for that he goes into debt for that he puts his family that he cares so much about his family for that he puts them into debt going hard for the 1999 air and space power journal in an article called what is information warfare states information warfare is any action to deny exploit corrupt or destroy the enemy's information and its functions protecting ourselves against those actions and exploiting our own military information functions which is what this program is dedicated too <laughs> entirely too like i what <laughs> but uh like uh like many scientists always say what you put out into the world will find its way back to you tenfold so don't blame me blame yourself it's your karma okay 
This new war is fought for political purposes and revolves around the issue of gaining the support and influence of the population. So apparently, me obtaining a relationship with anybody ever is a threat to national security. So me obtaining any sort of support, me me obtaining any support of any form of love, excuse me y'all, me obtaining any form of financial security, these are all forms of some sort of national security risk. Me simply breathing air is a national security risk somehow. And because it's a national security threat or risk, there needs to be divisions. And so there is an ongoing um, army military force that is actively forcing um, these issues to occur, these issues to take place. If it's domestic violence, then it'll be the domestic violence in the relationship. If it's cheating, then it'll be that. It's every day, day after day, all day long, 24-7, sleep deprived, and even during sleep, these targets are being raped and forced to participate in activities that they would never normally participate. But because they're vulnerable when they're sleeping, they're exploited over and over and over and over and over again. Okay? So they're not getting any real rest. Because like I said, when they're going to sleep, they're falling into a multidimensional warfare. Okay, this is why so many people call these, these innocent victims, these victims of ritual exploitation, crazy. This is the real reason. Because it could be either one of two things and maybe even more. This is just my theory. Either they're being tortured so much psychologically and deprived and isolated so much and they're so lonely that, that whatever it is that is happening or, or haunting them in their reality is also happening to them when they're going to sleep and trying to rest. It could be that. Or it can be the latter, which my research suggests that it actually is, which would be dream manipulation technology that is being used to torture innocent civilians while they are sleeping. And while they are sleeping, they are being raped. They are being forced to have sex with people they would last consider or something or someone they would never consider. Let's just put it that way for the sake of argument. I am not a good actress and I have a hard time sticking to scripts. So the rest of you all that dedicate your life to this, it's just crazy as fuck to me because um, I cannot. I cannot because I am a fucking human being and not a robot. So in a lot of ways, that's actually a good thing. But let me try to stick to this because... It does have a tendency of getting off the rails a bit. And that is because this is the precise method to their madness on how they go about arranging to have these targets um, go crazy, criminally insane, and also potentially uh, stage a suicide. Information warfare, according to U.S. military and defense contractors, the new enemy use computers, the internet, fax machines, cell phones, and public media to advance their objectives. Um, They're using civilians as well. They'll hire an actress to make you feel small about yourself. Literally. Like, they're just extras in your show. They use, quote, information operations to influence state forces. This would be the social butterfly method that I'm always referring to because I like to simplify and because I've been on the inside so I can tell you what it looks like. 
Once you get all the way on the inside and they've success successfully orchestrated, excuse me, I get so upset because these psychologists scare the shit out of me. I'm not even going to lie because of what they've already done to me. Once you get all the way on the inside, if you've ever been in there, you will see what it really truly means to be crazy. Now, I don't think that these people started out that way. I think that something happened and they went way astray. Um, something went wrong during the medication process is my theory. And they went into a state of some sort of psychosis that they never fully recovered from is my theory. But once you get all the way on the inside, you will see things and you will know things that only a true T.I. would know. And the rest of these people that sit over here and call you crazy or call me crazy, they've never been on the inside. They don't even know what real crazy is. And if they were to experience it, it would shake them to their core. They may potentially never be the same again because the experience is so traumatic in and of itself. It has the ability to change somebody in the depth of, the, of their core or in the depth of their psyche, whichever you prefer. And they may not ever be fully the same again. which I think is the case with a lot of these crazy people who have been exploited inside. And I do genuinely think that there was a healthy, normal person there to begin with. Something happened to them and now they're stuck in a mid-state of psychosis, some sort of a limbo land, if you will, And, and there's, there may, they may never return. Okay? Something is happening to them because they are having an experience that cannot be described. Not even by medical professionals. Whatever these schizophrenics are experiencing is very real to them. Once you've met one, once you've been on the inside, and once you've seen their behavior, whatever it is that they are communicating with, it is very real to them. And it is very, very sad to watch them sit there and suffer alone having this experience that even doctors don't know how to describe or may be afraid of trying to explain or describe. And so a lot of times when the truth is so overwhelming, it's too much to bear. That's why you get the, the lies and the rumors and the folklores and the, the, mytho, the, mytho, the methodology or the, um, the legend, there you go, the legend behind the truth because it's too hard to bear. Something is happening to these, um, well, what society would consider a diagnosed schizophrenic, excuse me, something is happening to them that they cannot describe or explain. Whatever they are communicating with is very real to them. And um, it could just be a side effect of the medication that is very possible, but I would beg to differ. They are having an experience that even the doctor is too afraid to talk about. So maybe they are communicating with aliens, or maybe they are communicating with some sort of paranormal activity or energy. 
like a demonic entity or a spirit or a ghost. But what's the difference if you're giving them so much medication that they themselves can't tell the difference? Then at the end of the day, it's a vegetable and it's all designed so that these fucking governments can exploit and make money, capitalize. That's, that's it at the end of the day. And for the people that want to call me crazy all because I have epilepsy, I don't care. I could care less. That's not a real reason to call somebody crazy. If you think that that is a real reason to call somebody clinically insane because they have epilepsy, you yourself are clinically insane. You're insane. You don't deserve that job if you're a fucking medical doctor trying to make a bogus malfeasance fucking diagnosis. You don't need to be in that position. To me, you all look like mobsters because that's what they really are. But anyways, this, um, this bit that I'm working on here in Appendix 2, it is really an important and I should not just make a fucking you know a rant video out of it but uh, I'll do the best I can because it is in it is important information and it does matter because it could mean the defining difference between life or death for a targeted individual who may not know the difference either way a lot of these crazy people have already been taken for their soul and in my opinion it's vacant and that's where they will try to put me the genius artist that changed the entire world they want to compare to a crazy schizophrenic that they've over medicated and then the pastor wants to try to guilt trip me and say that I'm some sort of a suicide because I don't want to take my medication anymore can somebody please back me up on this because this makes more sense there is more plausible provable evidence to prove why I should stop taking my medication versus the latter because when they had me in there they overdosed me and I got so sick, I lost 20 pounds in a week. I almost died. So the answer, in my opinion, is never, ever, ever going to be more medication. The answer, in my opinion, is less medication. And I don't have an attorney. I don't even, yeah, I don't even have a mother or a father or one single person to fucking stand up for me and say, this is malfeasance or this is this or this is that. Can we get a professional? Can we get some fucking real true intelligence or intellect? A fucking intellectual conversation would be great at this point. But because they want to stay forcing me into this oppression, that causes me to lack the finances that I need to file for the restitutions that I'm owed and deserved. While I'm sitting out here fucking suffering, they don't even have the fucking grounds nor the right. It's a violation all the way around. They use information operations to influence state forces with the population. Various publications term the act of transmitting information network, net war, information operations, information warfare, information attacks, etc. Professor, and I want you guys to pay attention to this name, George J. Stein. Kind of sounds familiar to George W. Bush. GW being code for like generational warfare. So anyways, to continue, that's just my own personal spin. <coughs> information warfare, which appeared in Air Power Journal, stated the target of information warfare 
Then is the human mind. The battle remains the battle for the mind. So this is, in a nutshell, basically saying how this war that these targeted individuals are forced to into this war that these targeted individuals are forced to experience is a battle for the mind so this is a war on consciousness that exploits human vulnerability which would be every thought every dream and even precognition uh, functions so it would be pre-crime things that you haven't thought even yet of and things that you haven't dreamt even yet of and so on and so forth so that they can try to criminalize your thoughts so that they can police and profile your psyche so that they can make you a victim of their own will which is a slave which is exploitation which is the very opposite of what these things are saying that they are fighting against. It is the thing that they are fighting to protect. What all this means is that the new war is an information war and it is a war on consciousness. information warfare, infrasonic and ultrasonic weapons, infrasonic and ultrasonic generators, also called emitters and VLF modulators, are weaponized devices consisting of directional, consisting of directional antenna dish, which can send acoustic pulses to a general or specific area. In 1972, France was using infrasonic generators which operated at 7 Hertz on its civilian population. By by 1973, by 73, the British was using the Squawk Box in Northern Ireland. This directional weapon could target specific individuals by producing an audible sound at about 16 hertz, which turned into infrasound at 2 hertz. I'm I'm sure that's supposed to mean 20 hertz. I'm not sure if it's going up or down at this point, girl. It says 2 hertz, so let's just go down. It's going down. So it's lowering your frequency. So let's go down. Because that's what it says. So let's stick to the script and go down. So this directional weapon could target specific individuals by producing an audible sound at about 16 hertz, which turned into infrasound. Okay, so we're going down at 2 hertz when it coupled with the ears. So that means it's a higher frequency initially, but when you interpret it, it it turns into, by the time it hits your ears, a low frequency. So it's alchemizing your energy, quite literally bringing you down so it can make you sick. In early 1990s, which is radiation poisoning, by the way, In early 1990s, Russia developed a 10 Hz VLF modulator adjustable up to lethal levels, capable of targeting individuals over hundreds of meters, causing pain, nausea, and vomiting. 
As far back as 1997, the U.S. DOD, Department of, Department of Defense, has been creating generators in the infrasound and ultrasound ranges between 7 hertz and 200 to 35 hertz, or 20 to, to 35 hertz, respectively. I'm pretty sure this is lethal. Yeah, this is probably lethal which can cause the same effects. So if it doesn't kill you, it'll just make you really sick. These weapons can target the brain, causing changes in brain chemistry, which influence thoughts and emotions. Particular frequencies and modulations will trigger precise chemical reactions in the brain, which produce specific emotions in the targeted individuals. So it's a setup all the way through. It's getting into the nervous system so it can destroy your health. <laughs> Anyways, infrasound occurs within elf range from a few hertz up to about 20 hertz, which is the lowest limit of human hearing. From 1 to 250 hertz, the pain damage threshold seems to increase with the frequency as well as power. Frequency determines what kind of damage occurs, whereas power determines what or how much damage occurs. Infrasound easily passes through buildings and travels great distances. Natural examples include avalanches, earthquakes, volcanoes, and waterfalls. So that's why when like street theater will be synchronized with some sort of natural disaster because they are comparing the two like <laughs> I just can't whales elephants hip hypnopotamuses hip hippopotamuses what the fuck Excuse me. Hippopotamuses and rhinoceroses are infrasound to communicate over great distances for wells hundreds of miles. An electronic example would be a large subwoofer. Infrasound is thought to be superior to ultrasound because it retains its frequency when it hits the body. <coughs> I would love to give some first-hand personal experiences of this but I'm trying to stick to the script you all please 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 and then if you do hear me like kind of fumble it or whatever it's just because I probably thought of something and I can give my own first-hand experience of uh, provide some evidence of how this is happening but I'll just stick to the script you know <laughs> From about 100 to 140 decibels, infrasound causes a variety of biological symptoms. Effects include fatigue, pressure in the ears, visual blurring, drowsiness, imbalance, disorientation, vibration of internal organs, severe intestinal pain, nausea, and vomiting. Higher power levels can liquefy bowels and resonate internal organs to death. It can cause feelings of pressure in the chest, choking, irregular breathing patterns, and respiratory incapacitation. Incapacitation. I got this fan blowing right in my face. Let me turn it off. <laughs> 